good afternoon Evie Sunflower here hope you enjoy the jazz in the background this is for you my brother darling Neil my brother Neil is a jazz player and uh, he loves the clocks I make on a record so I've been out and bought him a record it's a trumpet the trumpet Mac magic by Raphael Mendez um, so I'm actually going to use this record to paint on today and turn into a clock. Now he's requested that um, his favourite colours are pink and purples. So I'm going to use purple, lilac, a bright pink and a silver. And... Um, I hope you enjoy. I'll just go through through with it as I go. That didn't make sense, but I'll just carry on. <laughs> right. I was hoping to use the bottom of a Coke bottle, but I've misplaced it, even though I've been cleaning up all day. So I'm using a drain strainer, um, which I'm gonna place on the middle here, and I'm gonna pour colors through, and then lift it up, and then I'll, um, angle move the record around so it blows around the the design okay here we go placing the little um, drain strainer in the center um, and I've, my first color is a silver um, Montmartre silver I'll write the combination of the pouring medium I've used today down in my drop box if you're interested and would like to give this one a go. Right, so I'm just going to place some silver. Next one is my purple. Oh, sorry about the table um, door banging. Um, a Montmartre purple, dark one, with a, a propraint lilac mixed together. So you might be able to see down here that it's actually coming underneath through the bottom. I'm going to then put some more silver in, not quite as much this time. I have no idea how this is going to go. The next one is a pink I've made using two Montmartre pinks here. And I've actually added in a red with a bit of white, but a lot of red to bring it up to this beautiful shade. If you're going to have pink, you want it to be pink. Are you starting to see that come through now? Okay, next one once again. More silver. Oh goodness, goodness, that was a quick save. Now we've got the lilac colour here next. I might team that with the purple. actually loses some of this design because it's rolling over and underneath itself I should have placed some paint around the edge um, I might just stop for a moment all I've done is poured some of that lilac around the edge which will give the, um, the 
paint pour something to roll over as opposed to roll in on itself. I'm just going to smooth that a little bit around the edge here. It won't end up as lilac on the edge, believe me. We've got a bit to do yet. Now, even though this table has been leveled, I've got it on a great big tile, so it's flat. Because <laughs> I'm working on a very fine medium here, the record itself is quite flexible. Right, now let's get back to it. Everyone's having a super day today. Today is Friday the 13th of November. And it's uh, for our family, the number 13 has always been lucky, especially for my dearly departed mum, who was born on the 13th. And she won a lot of mum money with the number 13 as well. always backed a horse number 13 or <laughs> a lot of fun to all the people out there that have mums it's very hard when you can't get to see them isn't it through this pandemic um, I, know, I don't know about you but I'm really missing my family and friends Borders have opened here now in Tassie to fellow Australian locations and states. Hasn't opened to the rest of the world, unfortunately, at the moment, but uh, that will come once we can all get on top of it. bit here the good thing about this it, you know if I'm not happy with the results I can just scrape it off and start again so while since I've done pour on a record and I should have written it down I can't remember the, the thickness of the paint that I used okay so now I'm actually going to lift this up. I'll just get a piece of paper first. There's my towel in. And lift it straight up. And rest it there. Unfortunately, I... <laughs> You can see it sinking. I didn't tape up the min middle part of the hole, so um, I have got this on a lazy Susan that I'm just going to swing around a little. have made this a little bit thin I'm not sure and I really should have put some tape underneath 
Okay, not happy with it. Not happy with it at all. I'm going to let a lot of it pour off and then I'll pour another one on top. I think I've made the, um, the pinky colour too watery. much too much pain as I always do we'll see how this turns out got quite a lot of paint under there as you can see my goodness gracious torch carefully. Um, there is a little bit of flow troll in here so it may bring out some cells but just to remove the air bubbles. Okay we're going to see what happens with that one. <laughs> Thank you. I might just swirl through some of that pink. I'll bring you down now and show you how it looks. Attractive. There we are. I added some swirls to incorporate some of the other colours through that large pinkish area. I love this with the silver and the lilac and the purples. I might have another go for you, Neil. We'll see. Anyway. That's a little quick tutorial on painting on um, a record. Um, I did try to buy an Elvis Presley record because my brother's an Elvis Presley impersonator. And unfortunately, those ones, the cheapest one I could get was $30 in the second hand shop. So I'm afraid we just got another record that was for a trumpet player. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. You can see there's it's endless. What you can do with it i would recommend you put in a little bit of masking tape under the hole in the center on the back first although it does help run off the excess i will, i'd now resin this to give it a really crystal clear glass finish just to finish it off Here we are, 24 hours later, 
on the um, the record that I've painted. It's not quite dry yet, but it's getting close. Um, I'm really quite thrilled with how it's turned out. It's developed some beautiful cell structure. And I purposely haven't put any silicon in here because I need to be able to put the resin coating on as soon as it dries. And when you do use silicon, it takes a lot longer to dry. Um, but gosh, that's looking beautiful, actually. I'm surprised. I didn't know if I'd keep it or not. No, it's lovely. So, okay. So in a follow-up video, I'll show you when it's been resined with the clock face attached. But there it is. There's the, there's the clock face there.